Welcome back to my channel. Tyler Perry had an emotional moment on The View while paying tribute to his late mother, which was almost derailed thanks to show co-host Whoopi Goldberg. It has been 14 years since the Medea franchise creator lost his mother, Willie Maxine Perry. In commemoration of his mother's life, he titled his new movie, Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story, after her. While promoting the documentary, he made an appearance on the Emmy-winning talk show to share a little bit about her story. The women of The View all previewed the documentary, including co-host Sarah Haynes, who got emotional as she turned to Perry to express how touched she was by the film. But before she could get her question out, the filmmaker stopped her. I met Maxine through all of it. I did know her, Haynes said. Wow, phew. You met my mother. Wow, thank you, Perry interrupted as his eyes welled with tears. To say that you met her through that, that takes me somewhere because that's a woman who endured so much pain and she didn't have some legacy, but she had me. And to say I was able to introduce her to you, you got me there. Jesus Christ, St. Lord, have mercy, he continued. I appreciate that. Co-host. Sonny host in pause during the touching moment to rub Perry's back. The camera then cuts to co-host Goldberg, who rubs Haynes' back for comfort while saying, from the mouth of blondes. Lord have mercy. Thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. From the, from the mouth of blondes. Yeah. Yeah. From the mouth of yeah. blondes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing her, too, yeah. with all of Some us. Some folks on social media took the Sister Act star's remarks as a joke after a clip from the interview was shared by the Neighborhood Talk on Instagram. Yet others felt it was inappropriate and poorly timed and nearly ruined the touching moment. Whoopi just had to go and fuck it up, like girl hush, one person commented on social media, while another said, Whoopi proves to us every day that she belonged in the color purple more than we can ever know. I'm sorry, Whoopi is wild. One person cracked, as others advised show producers to turn Whoopi Mike off, in Teddy Pendergrass' voice, turn it off. Two others said, tellin' y'all Whoopi in that I don't give AF no filter age, and Whoopi please, we're trying to cry, read the room. However, the wisecrack didn't seem to phase Haynes or Perry. As he attempted to collect himself, Perry said, I need to get myself together. You really got me. Haynes remained sensitive to the filmmaker's feelings and explained that he didn't have to rush through the moment and that she understood what he was going through. Despite her crack about Haynes, Goldberg offered her some tissue when she started to tear up. The 54-year-old explained part of the reason why he got so emotional was because of the struggle his mother endured throughout her life. I just imagine a woman who's lived her entire life with so much pain and she was always worried about everybody else. I watched her get sick. I watched her get cancer. I watched her have all of these things because her intention was, are you happy? Are you okay? Perry said. She never put herself on the list, and she never thought she was important and never thought anybody would care, he continued. So, to say that this documentary introduces her to the world, that moves me because she was very special to me. Elsewhere during the interview, Goldberg thanked Perry for creating space for black actors in Hollywood and for seeing her and other viable working actors when no one else did. Maxine's Baby, The Tyler Perry Story, is directed by Jalila Bikili and Armini Ortiz and will debut on Amazon Prime on Nover 17. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos.